In this video, I'm going to show you how to read WhatsApp messages without letting the sender know that you've opened them. So all of these methods, they work for Android phones and none of them require any third-party apps. So let's get started. So the first method is the official way where you go to WhatsApp and turn off red receipts. But the problem with this is that even when someone reads your message, you won't see a blue tick. So I'll quickly show you how it works. But if you know this and you want to skip to the next method, then you can just see that in the timestamp. So first I'll open WhatsApp. Then here you have to click on the three dots, which are on the top right and click on settings. After that, just go to privacy. And here, as you can see, the option for red receipts is on. And if I turn it off, now as you can see, they've said that if turned off, you won't send or receive red receipts. So now, even when I send messages, if the person opens it, I won't see the blue tick. Now, going to the second method, which is my personal favorite, and that's adding a WhatsApp widget. So if you just long press on your home screen, and then click on widgets, just scroll down till you reach WhatsApp, and then select this widget, which is the bigger one. Just add it to your lock screen. So here, as you can see, I've added the widget to my home screen. And here I can read the messages which I've sent, saying, how are you? Subscribe to Tech is Easy. And the advantage of this is that no matter how long the messages are, I can read all of them without letting the person know that I've read it. So honestly, this is the best method. But if you don't want to have a widget, then there is one more method which you can follow. So now the next method is using notifications. For this, you'll have to enable notifications for WhatsApp. So just go to settings. After that, go to apps. And then just search for WhatsApp. Over here, click on notifications. So based on your phone, the settings may be a bit different. But once you reach the app notifications page, just enable it. So now let's see how it works. If I just see my notification panel over here, all of my WhatsApp chats have come. So the earlier one didn't come since I just enabled notifications. But from now on, every message, I can read it from here. And similar to this method, there's one more, which is seeing your notification history. So again, in settings, you can enable this. I'll just go to settings, then search notification history. After that, click on notification history. And here, you'll have to enable it. And the advantage of this is that even if you swipe out a notification, it will always remain in the history. So if I scroll down, here as you can see, WhatsApp has come. And if I just click on it, then here, I can read all of the messages which I've received on WhatsApp. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know how to read deleted WhatsApp messages, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.